Tens of thousands of parents have started checking a revamped version of the government's My School website. For the first time, the site allows parents to see how much funding their child's school receives. And just like the original My School website, this version is proving controversial. There are claims the funding numbers are wrong, and some fear they could be used to strip money from schools in the future. From Canberra, political correspondent Greg Jennett. <laughs> it's new. Wow, look at that. It's jammed full of data. So it just gives you the numbers straight away. But does my school's 2.0 give too much or too little away? More information, relevant information, necessary information for parents, for students, for teachers and for the whole of our community. Yeah, so that's the upgraded notion. website Julia Gillard started three years ago still rates performance in maths and literacy. This year it also tries to account for funding at 9,500 schools and to some it simply doesn't add up. On our calculations, we, our recurrent income has been overstated by $1 million and that roughly translates into an additional thousand dollars per student. Why do you think that... Exaggerated, say some principals, understated, claims the Education Union, which had demanded the figures be published. Literally millions of dollars in surpluses, trusts, assets, investment portfolios held by private schools will not be reported on in My School 2.0. I'm confident that the information that's on the My School website is valid and accurate as received. The site shows average public school income is $11,000 per student, $10,000 for Catholic schools and almost $14,000 for privates. Comparing gov a government institution with a non-government institution is like apples and oranges to, to some extent. There's a reason why accuracy matters. Behind the accounting debate lies a much bigger question. The government's reviewing its entire formula for school funding and the My Schools website doubles as a powerful calculator to measure needs, inequality and value for money. What that means for the public, private and independent funding mix won't be clear for a year or so. The opposition isn't waiting. There are 1.2 million children in the non-government school sector and if the government has their way, school fees will have to rise as government funding is removed from these schools. Current school funding is guaranteed until 2013. Greg Jennett, Late Life.